TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Kitchen Nightmares is the show we watching, man. We also got twitch.com. That's where we'll be live and things of that nature. Don't forget to go lock in with us, man. The username's on the bottom of the screen. And we also got Patreon where we post Monday through Friday, man. All of that info's on the bottom of the screen. This is Kitchen Nightmare Season 3, Episode 8. Talk to me. Talk to me, buddy. Nestled in the middle of the up-and-coming neighborhood of Eagle Rock, California, is Capri, an Italian restaurant which is owned by the Theo Twins. Hi, Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Jeff. <laughs> no, I'm Jeff. You're Jim. I'm Jim. And we're, we're the, the owners, owners of, of the Capri, Capri Italian, Italian restaurant. Good evening, Capri. Jim speaking. How we got into the restaurant business was we used to come here all the time, and we loved the place. So we would said, we'll buy it. The feeling was, it's like, dude, free pizza? All right. Yeah, yeah. Word, word. Uh-huh. Team Capri. <laughs> Twins are like two overgrown boys. <laughs> That's what it seemed like. They having a good time. They ain't taking this serious. Jeffy's getting larger. <laughs> Let's play symbol. They're just kind of immature. Oh, I see how you do the chicken fillet. Excuse me. They're just doing what they know. And it's not working. <laughs> Ta-da! Sorry. Are you okay? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. What happened? Yes, everybody is entertained by their childishness. But it is a restaurant, and we're here to serve food. That looks good. Oops. You know what? These guys can't cook. We gotta figure a better way to do the lasagna. We're having too many people saying it's overcooked. Do you think we should cook it less? The food that comes out in the kitchen looks terrible. What did he say? It wasn't cooked. It's raw. Yeah, I win them all. It's embarrassing. It looks like nobody cares. You sure you don't like raw chicken? Here, they're an issue. Jim and Jeff are lazy. All right, I'm going to the car. Wake me up when it's over. Lazy is an understatement. The twins' highest priority is doing as little work Together, as possible. Together, you know? They both lazy at the same time? There's something that we're doing wrong, and I'm not sure what it is. But the financial situation hit the pooper. We're broke. <laughs> Oops. That pink is never a good color. I haven't paid them for a few months. We need help. If things don't change, I would say the doors will close quickly. Hello? No, the phone's not working again. Fingers crossed that Chef Ramsay's gonna help us. You gotta help yourself, buddy. Italian dining since 1963. Lazy is never a good start to anything, bro. Uh, I... Closed since 1963. Oh my God. It's really, it's really hard to unprogram laziness. Hello. Hi there. How are you? Pretty good, I'm Jeff. Good to see you. Good to see you. Likewise, uh, it looks shut from outside. Uh, yeah, we're not open yet. Are you not open yet? No. When do you open? Uh, four o'clock. Dinner only? Yeah. And you're the uh, owner? Yeah, my Brilliant. brother and I are. Okay, great. Would you like to meet my brother? Uh, yes, please. What's his name? Dinner only at a, a pizza place? This, this should at least serve once. I'm Jim. Jim. And you're Jeff? Yep. Oh my God, look at this place. Terrible. Okay. What do you want me to do? Just say, hey, how's it going? Okay. You won't know. It's fun to play jokes on people. In the Twin Union book, you gotta mess with people. Hey, how's it going? Jeff, is your brother not available? No, I'm Jim. No, no come on. No, I'm his brother. You're kidding me. No, I am. Seriously. I am serious. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff go get Jim. Come on, don't listen. All right, all I've right. got Hold work on. to do. Hold on. Please. Hold on. Hold on, I'll get him. What is this, the comedy store? <laughs> Bloody hell, look at them. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. <laughs> Jeff and Jim. Yes. Correct. Jeez. Look at you two. <laughs> you are identical. <laughs> You're not dressing like this 
especially no, today. No, we, this we, is, we wear this as this is for the rest. We've even got the same <laughs> sneakers on. Yeah. <laughs> pen there, pen there. I didn't even notice. T-shirt that. there, t-shirt <laughs> there. I didn't notice. Bit that. of flower there, bit of flower there. Yep. Yeah. What was quite scary. Yeah, yeah. Jim. Yep. And Jeff. Yep. So who's in charge? Don't, I don't want to be an asshole. So, don't make me say it. It looks like something's missing from both of them. Maybe like a half of one, not a full one. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> no, uh, basically I am. I worked here longer than he has. Okay. Uh, what, since 1963? Come on. We, no. Oh, no, no. We no. bought it about 14 years ago. Okay. So why aren't you open for lunch? The Capri's never open for lunch, which is good. I'd rather go on the computer, watch TV, play poker. The problem is, for lunch, we have to get another whole staff. Goof off, sit in the sun. Not really. <laughs> you haven't even tried it. No, I haven't. No, I'm not ready to jump into the lunch yet. OK, but you're open every day for dinner? Wednesday through Sunday. Say that again? Wednesday, Wednesday through Wednesday Sunday. Sunday. What's wrong with Monday, Tuesday? So help me understand this. OK. Right. So you actually close longer than you open? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not funny. OK, well, thanks for updating me. I'm going to sit down and uh, eat. Please, oh, yeah. right over here. Thank you. Let me get you some water. I'll get the water. No, I'll get the water. Jeez, yeah. oh, seriously? Are these menus from 1963 as well? No, they're getting old. I know, we have to get... You're kidding me. But look at that. Is this a joke? No, it's not. You're kidding me. I can't me. believe they're, they're falling apart. You can't even read that. It's so dirty. First impressions. Wow. OK, give me five minutes to have okay. a read of the menu. OK. okay. Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you guys later, yeah? OK. Holy crap. I don't know what Chef Ramsay... He said he'll need a whole nother staff for lunch. Can't you just open at... What time is lunch? 11, 10? Can't you just open from 10 to 2 and then close two hours, then open from 4 to close? It's expected, but it's not a shishi place. I'm not a shishi kind of guy. I'm more down to earth. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm Colleen. I'm your server today. Okay, nice to see you. Colleen, how long have you been here? Nine and a half years. A decade. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, what was the last thing we got changed in here? Oh, this is this still the same way the original owners had it? Really? Wallpaper's been up there for 35 years. Oh my god. Let's uh, let's go through the menu. Yeah? Let's start off with um, meatball sandwich. I love meatballs. Who makes them? They come from a company that we order from. <laughs> You're kidding me. No. You can't even make a meatball? I can. <laughs> okay, let's go for the meatball sandwich. And let's go with the chicken scapello. Okay. Pizza. Ooh. Let's go for the uh, Capri Colossal. You want the big one? Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, I'll let you put that order in. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there dessert here? Okay, what do we have to make? Chicken scarpello, meatball sandwich, extra Still large colossal. He wants an extra large? Jim, get me an extra large dough. What does he want? The colossal. Alrighty. So it's not just the menus. Oh dear. Everything Bits of sauce well. down there. Crap. Ugh. Just disgusting. Bits of <laughs> everywhere. There's tape on the carpet. Look at this place. When was the last time the place was cleaned? Not lately. How long has this stuff been here? 20 years. 20 years. 20 year old lasagna oh. pasta? Oh, it's like it's snowing. Oh, oh my god. That's gross, no? Yes. That's, that's above people's... That's very, yes. Jim, two seconds, please. When was the last time this place was cleaned? Ah! Uh, Have you seen this? No, I did not. My goodness me. Who's responsible for the cleaning here? I'm responsible. I didn't do it. Have you Ever. seen the fans? I do not like to clean. I hate cleaning. To me, that's a four-letter word. So, I'm about to start eating. I give that a little shake, and all of a sudden, the dust just runs down. Let me wash my hands before I start eating. What a mess. Let's be real, Gordon. You're not about to eat any of this food. You're going to take a bite, spit it out, say it's disgusting. It's frozen. 
it's microwaved multiple things. You wanna microwave these meatballs, please? Okay. Microwave, exactly. Come on, work with me. Cheese. Sandwich is ready. Okay, a meatball yeah. sandwich. Meatball sandwich. You know what? I really love meatballs too, Pauls. But frozen meatballs, no matter where you buy them from, they're disgusting for some reason. They're never good. Frozen packaged meatballs, they're never good. They're never good. Which, um... Okay, and so they buy the meatballs, they defrost them, and then, has that been microwaved or...? Yes. Thank you. Okay, what else do we have to make? Uh, Scarpello. That's nasty. When a restaurant can't even bother to make a meatball, that's not a good sign, let me tell you that. Somebody should tell him the chicken's definitely dead. But not okay. What's the matter with these guys? It's not done. Is it done? Okay. Oh my god. What in the hell is that? Look like a bunch of BS. It don't even look. The, ew, those mushrooms—they look slimy. The Colasso pizza. Wow. I mean, it's like someone's played out the fridge. Look at it. It's endless. It has a little bit of everything except for anchovies. Oh, that's dreadful. Okay, thank you. Okay. The crap and the gunk on top of it is just hideous. You didn't like the pizza. He's not liking anything. Oops. I'm really disgusted. Like, I'm from Chicago. Like, I don't know. I don't even understand if people really be understanding what I'm saying about pizza. Like, if you're going to present me with a pizza, it better be good. Because this is where I'm from <laughs> dictates that I only eat good pizza. It better be good. Come on now. Now we have the that chicken terrible scarapella. Oh. Wow. It looks there's no seasoning. I don't see a speck of pepper. This is crazy. Dull. That's not right. Oof. It smells. Is that fresh? Um Can you ask them how old the chicken is, please? Whoa, that was nasty. How old is the chicken? I don't know. When did we get it? Uh, I don't know. Poultry is not labeled? In, the food's not labeled here? We took it out of the freezer How yesterday. 14 years old. We took it out of the freezer yesterday. It's frozen and it's not fresh because we can't afford to keep fresh meat here all the time because we don't serve that much. If he wants to do Stop buying so much. Donate money so I can make it fresh. No problem, but otherwise, tough not open for lunch, but so far what I've just experienced, they shouldn't be open for dinner either. He took out the freezer yesterday and doesn't remember when the delivery was. Excuse me. Oh dear. Excuse me. <laughs> so what? I didn't think it was that bad. Ugh. Under the tables, it's littered with gum. Colleen. Yes. Look at that. Probably from 20 it's years everywhere. ago. It's Oh. Absolutely disgusting oh. how lazy some people can be. Let's go on a gumball rally. Oh. Oh, God, under there, look. The size of the gum under that one. Oh, look at that one at the end. In the corner. Oh, my God, look at that one there. When was the last time the tables were clean? Not ever. They might as well throw the whole restaurant out at this point. I don't see, I just don't see it. Like, you can't fix laziness. Their laziness has been programmed into them however many years they've been alive. And it's, I don't know.
river that I've known of underneath. They've never been cleaned underneath? No. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighteen, nineteen, twenty bits of gum. Every freaking table... Has gum underneath of it. Has gum underneath. We're going to get out of this. No. Don't say that. Come on, stop crying. Grow up, you... You. <laughs> Are they arguing? I ain't never seen twins argue. Uh, Jim, Jeff. Coming. I'm really nervous. Oh dear, dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm afraid of what Chef Ramsay has to say. Honestly, you seem like nice guys, but that was painful. The general feel of the place is disgusting. I can tell how much you don't care. You just stand there with your foot on the booth. Can you get your dirty feet off your own booths? Have a look at this. Every table is littered with stale, disgusting gum. Disciplinary Gordon in the building. We just, we never looked underneath the table. Didn't have the time? Busy for lunch? No. Open seven days a week? Not. The meatball sandwich? Disgusting. The chicken was turning. And then the colossal. Kate with crab. Were they canned mushrooms on top? Yeah. Canned olives? Mm hmm Soggy and tasteless. Where's the pride? I don't know. Come on, guys. It's like a joke. Find canned a canned mushroom, canned mushroom, canned mushrooms and canned olives. Are you kidding me? On a pizza? Pulse and get real. Before we open for dinner tonight, would you mind wiping the lampshades? And can somebody get under the tables and get rid of that <laughs> gum? Yeah. I'm going for lunch. I'll see you later. You gonna get a Starving. real meal, you feel me? Capri, classic Italian. What a joke. That our food sucked. I feel like I knew that. That uh, our restaurant is really filthy. I think it was that bad. Oh my God, sir! Please. <laughs> Bro, look real sad when he cried. Like that's real sadness. After sampling the horrendous food... That's not right. ...and discovering a dining room that hasn't been cleaned in quite some time... Oh, God, under there, look. Chef Ramsay has instructed the twins to clean up the restaurant before dinner service. You do the fans. I don't want to get on a ladder. Let's get Darian in here. I have a staff to do the cleaning. That's why I'm considered the boss, and they are someone that works with me. <laughs> For me. Awesome. Get in here. Now. We don't have a lot of time. We have to turn everything over. We got an hour before we're supposed to open. The dining room already looked brighter from the dust being removed. After the staff takes over the cleaning of the dining room, Capri opens for dinner. Hello. Chicken scarpello. And don't get that chicken scarpello. Chef Ramsay arrives. The door shakes. To see the twins in action. Have you ever seen a kitchen like this before? This place is littered with crap. What's that there? CO2 for the beer. Look at those shelves. I mean, that's grime. That's like 14 years of grime there. Chef Ramsay was up. Oh, there's dust here. There's This is just like, it's not that bad. It is when you're supposed to be cooking in this area. It is. Do you know how dust particle works? Those particles work. They fly. They go everywhere. They're in the food. What's in here, dare I? Vegetables. That's the vegetables. What's this at the bottom? Uh, that's supposed to be eggplant. Eggplant parmesan. When were they cooked? Last Thursday. Last Thursday? God almighty. Look at that. Oh, feel that. Tomato sauce. Yeah, but feel it. I know. It's, we just made it today. So what's it doing in the fridge? Hold that. Would, I know it's hot. Hold it. What does hot thing? You're supposed to let it cool off, ain't you? You can't put something right from hot into the refrigerator. It's do that are sealed that goes inside a cold fridge. The sauce goes sour. I didn't know that. You didn't know that. 
Can I suggest you spend five minutes sorting out your first before you start cooking, yeah? Okay. I should have known better. He's right, but he's just a pain in the ass about it. Gary, can you go through it real quick? Yeah. Trash. He took all that little joy away. Yeah, ain't nothing funny in here, that's why. Thank you. With the rot. I don't think you should be having a good time in here either. You know what I'm saying? If the business ain't turning, if the business is not in the green, then don't. Don't laugh. Vegetables thrown away. I need to order wings, please. And the order's pouring yeah. in. Jim and Jeff get back to cooking. Darren, order green beans, please. Got it. And begin to send food out of the kitchen. Make sure they say a prayer before they start eating that. Hey, the chicken. Mm. I can't eat that. But the diners are less than impressed. It's so disgusting. I'm nauseous. What even is they that? Sent this back. They didn't like it. They said that you can't eat it. What was this? It was like a pile of mush. And a pile of mush. Big pile of mush. What is this? Anyone taste food anything? Here? Seasoning? Tasting? Every time a dish came back, it was like losing a customer, and uh, it hurts. What was wrong with it? It's too floury and not enough sauce. It makes me feel like a loser. I do really feel like a loser right now. They gotta hire a chef. They can't even cook. Jeff, you okay? Oh, I'm just frustrated. Huh? I'm, I'm working on it. Just, that's all. Get some fresh air. Cool. Jeff the crybaby twin. Okay, I got this, buddy. What's Ain't the nothing lesson? wrong with it. Just, it was a failure. Just, Father Gordon. You can't give up by that. I'm not trying to. Just, it's not going right. I need to see what I've got to work with before I can start looking at any form of change. You have to bounce back. I'm, huh? I'm working on it. I really am. Jeff, you've got to. Okay, come on. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Fight okay. Back. Let's go. Come okay. on. Mm. Chef Ramsey's right. You gotta pull yourself together and get back in there and get through the night. Of course, Father Gordon. Doing well, right. sir. Thanks to Chef Ramsey's encouragement, Jeff jumps back into dinner service and tries to help his brother Jim get the kitchen back on track. Keep it up, Jim. You're doing a good job. But unfortunately, he only makes matters worse. Jim, what have we done to those? I don't know what happened to those. I, I, I really don't. Defrosted them in the bag? I think they were defrosted in the bag, and I... Jeff. Yeah. The chicken tenders. What did you do to them to defrost them? I put it uh, on the steam table. You defrosted them in the steam table from frozen? Yeah. Oh, my God. Now what you're supposed to do. No. Frozen food needs to be defrosted naturally. Right. Give me the bag. Where's the bag? Oh, God almighty. We can't serve them. You'll kill somebody. Jim, talk to me. What am I supposed to say? It's a mistake. It's a lethal mistake. Why is it bitter? It's really bad. Is that what I ate lunchtime? Yeah. Oh, oh this is gross. It's, it's not horrible, horrible. Good. It's disgusting. I be Don't nothing look good. Like, nothing. N like, I haven't seen one decent item come out of the kitchen. You're feeling a little bit crap all afternoon. What are you two doing? I f up. I f up. Well, what do you want me to say? Yeah, they gotta, they gotta, oh, you just they gotta hire a chef. They're not, this not them. The plate. They don't know how to cook, they don't know how to store, they don't know how to do anything in the kitchen. Damn man. I screwed up. You haven't told anyone yet. He was just being a jerk. He was an ass. I'm so tired of him just pushing and pushing. Grow some <laughs> and take it off the menu. I've had enough. I'm so pissed. I can only take so much before I fight back. Jim, Jim, wait. Jim. What is it when I, when I, Y'all know, do, do people know that Gordon Ramsay's like a black belt? Or am I am I making stuff up? He like a black belt, ain't he? Y'all really don't want that smoke? We have no chicken tonight. Jim, Jim, 
I don't like. Ladies and gentlemen, due to certain circumstance, we have no chicken tonight. Oh, my apology to everyone here. If you just want to have what you're eating now and leave, I understand fully, and I apologize. Hey, there may have been a more subtle way of doing that. Get out of my way. When we canceled all our chicken orders, we got screwed. Will you stop acting like a baby? I'll blow it out, Excuse me? You heard it. Hey. Wait, 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 need diaper changing. I'll give Isn't you that a time of night. <laughs> Little poo poo and caca pants. <laughs> He's the baby. He's the one that's whining over everything. I don't need to hear this crap. Jim, why do you have to behave like this? I'm not going to get yelled at. You're back. walking around like a big baby, and I'm just asking you to grow up a little bit. Show a little bit of respect for what you're trying to cook. Uh. Oh my god, you big wet noodle. Do you want a blanket and a. <laughs> ah, big wet noodle? Bottle? Do you need one? Upside the head? Jim, stop oh it, please. Oh my god, what a spoiled brat. Jim, shut up, please. You're not helping the cause. Oh my god, now he's setting himself on fire. I hope so. Hey. Are they always acting like this childish? Oh yeah, they don't get the way they crack or throw a temper tantrum. Oh my god, to walk in the dining room like that and scream. That's what I said, temper tantrum. There's a part of me that's very satisfied to see the boys finally get what they deserve. A lesson in humility. <laughs> okay, where are you at now? I don't know. I'm sorry, but yeah. it's just really late. Let me go check on that for you. Can I pass you this? They've been here since we opened, and they haven't got their food yet. It's ridiculous. Since four? You, some of the tables have been waiting two hours out there. I know. We don't even seem to be bothered. I am bothered. Yeah, there's only three tables we served at entrees. Come on, guys, just show a little bit more enthusiasm, surely. No, it doesn't look good. Damn it. This can't be happening. It's just like a bad nightmare. Let's drink our wine and go. Hi, Maddie. Window wants to walk. Cancel window. Customers were not happy. Some got tired of waiting and left. It was very disappointing. I'm sorry, I'm not. It was a bad night. People don't get their food, they get mad, I get it. Our dishes took longer than usual. It was just an embarrassing night. Okay, today could be summed up in one four letter word, lazy. I can't even start to help both of you when you're not helping yourselves. I really need you to do something. Both of you, go through your kitchen, and clean it. Not your staff, you. Both of you. Got it? Yep. Good night. Get to work. We weren't lazy. Now we're paying for it. We're failures. Yay. I'm just making a turkey here. Can I do this? What's wrong, Jim? I can't clean anything. I'm a failure. I'm making a mess. I feel bad. We are in trouble. I really don't know if we can fix it. That's the problem. I feel like they should do movies. You're in the wrong industry, you guys. You guys should be like doing movies or something. Not cleaning anything up. Go take a break, Jim. Uh, uh, no, I can't take a break. Because I'm too lazy as it is. No, I'm fine. I gotta clean this up. They got some, they got some deep-rooted issues, I feel. After the twins spend most of the night cleaning, Chef Ramsay arrives early, and with the help of longtime waitress Colleen and pizza maker Darian, he does something the twins have never done, open for lunch. OK, Darren. Yes, sir. It's going to be fast. It's going to be furious, but you can do it, OK? Yeah, I'm game for this. How you doing? You should come in and have some lunch. I would like the lasagna, please. Pizza. Pizza up. Lasagna up. Lasagna. Enjoy. 
This is delicious. Mm. I bet that shit is delicious. Gordon back there chefing it, ain't he? <laughs> it's yeah. really good. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We got a sign twirler. Now open for lunch. <laughs> oh, cool. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, wow. I can't believe this is happening. Wow. This is our place? <laughs> All right, welcome. Hi. Thanks for making it today. Thank you. Uh, take a seat. Feeling a little bit peckish? Um, yeah. Yeah? Well, let me get you a nice little uh, chopped salad. Uh, this is different. Uh, let's start off with a little oh. chopped salad. Thank you. And make sure you save some room for an Italian sausage lasagna and a very simple um, margarita pizza. Thank you. I'm sorry, excuse me. Wow. It's a good pizza. Try the lasagna. Like Thank you. OK. Whilst you two were at home, nice and cosy, I got here early this morning with Darren and Colleen. I think today we put over $300 in the cash register. Wow. Yeah. $300, if you do that five times a week, that's $1,500, that's almost our rent. So it's a lot of money. Talk to me. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Jim, chill, Jim. This theatric cry is crazy. It needs to be in a movie theater, no cap. <laughs> I'm very happy. Yeah. I had my eyes shut, and that was wrong. I sat on my butt, being lazy. You can't have your butt stuck to your bed every morning. You've got to get out and, and break the mold. Message understood loud and clear? Yep, loud and clear. After finally getting through to the twins about their laziness, Chef Ramsay wants to dig a little deeper. He has an unorthodox plan that will allow the brothers to work out their issues and their frustrations. Time to let go of the past and no, to embrace be funny. the future. What's happening here? Sorry. I'm not going to be fighting Chef Ramsay, am I? I want to know what's holding you back. One, two. Oh, for God's sake. What is that? Two. What is that? I don't work out. It's like starting Surprise. an old car after a year sitting there. It's going to go fart out a little bit. Come on, what pissed you off the most? What is it? Myself. Why? Huh? Because I'm lazy. When was the last time you did something 100%? Trainer Gordon. I can't remember. What are you afraid of? Tell me. S screw it up. Damn it. It's just screw it up. I'm tired all my life. I'm a failure. You're not a failure. Yes, I am. You are not. <sighs> we all make mistakes in life. <laughs> Embrace change. Are you keen to make this business work? Yeah, it's time. I'm ready to move on to make a success out of this. OK, last 10. Let's go. And again. And again. Come on. Hit it. You stop kissing it. Come on. Come on. And again. Ready to change? Yes. Good man. Yeah. Get the f out of it. I know I'm going to put behind me all the, uh, the laziness Gordon. and look towards the future and the successes that are Life coming. Life Coach Gordon. Jeff. Let's go. Good. Good. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, Jeff. Let's get busy, Jeff. Jeff got them. It feels. Jeff will whoop Jim. Good to just let out a whole bunch of that I've been hanging on to. Nice, nice, nice. Take a breather. Good. Wow. What does this restaurant mean for you? A life, a career. And you think by sitting on your lazy ass all day long and turning up halfway through the day is going to make it work? You need to commit. <laughs> Good. You, in here. Let's go. I don't want any headshots. Just one round. And tell each other it's time to work. Let's go. Oh, whoa, whoa. OK. My money's on uh, Jeff. Jim is the, the more round one. Jeff is a little bit thin, slimmer. OK, so who we got? Who we got, y'all? I got Jeff. My name's Jeff. My bad. 
any headshots, just one round. No and tell each other it's time to work. Let's go. We can work together. We can work together. And if we, we can be successful, we just gotta talk to each other. Can I keep anything inside? Yeah. Yeah, Jeff getting in him. Jeff getting in that chest, ain't he, Jim? No. No. Yeah, both get. Oh, we get. Oh, 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 yeah. Let's see that lower chin. That's a strong chin, though. Oh, oh, three, two, three, one. Uh. And stop. Well done. Give him a hug. Boxing each other uh, was a good exercise because it, it cleared the air and it showed. Yeah. Me that I, it's time for me to work hard for the business for both of us. Okay. Jim, you got a strong chin. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Good. It's time for change. Got it? Got it. Are you ready? Ready. Good. <sighs> Get cleaned up. Meet me back at the restaurant. Satisfied that the twins are ready to make some changes within themselves. Okay, how are you feeling? Good. Good. Chef Ramsay okay. now wants to focus on something else that needs a major change. The food. When was the last time you made you a meatball? Probably kitchen. five years ago. Yeah, and why did you stop? It was easier. Lazy. Oops. Let's make a meatball okay. Okay. together. It's been a long time since we made meatballs. I think meatballs are I'm hard ready to, to do make. this. Oh, I am right. a professional. Right. Ground beef. Ground Season, beef. Yeah? Salt and pepper. Garlic. Salt, pepper, garlic. Handful of chili flakes. Chili Chef Ramsay is a magician in the kitchen. Oh, you just add this and this and this, and it's just like. Jeff. Yes. How big do you like your balls? <laughs> Interesting. Pause. Uh, <laughs> pretty good size. I mean, you know. Go full size. What? Taste. What do you think? It's good. I like it a lot. Can you do that? Yes. Can you do that if it needs help? Yes. Homemade meatballs. Homemade yes. meatballs. The difference is night and day. Home this looks so good. Homemade. Homemade. Can't hear you. Homemade. homemade. Can't hear you. It's homemade meatballs. Get outside and shout to the street. Homemade balls of meat. Nah, meatball is better. Okay. Homemade meatballs. Yeah. Homemade meatballs. Tell them in the neighborhood. We have homemade meatballs. I can't hear you. We have homemade meatballs. Finally. Stop. We have homemade meatballs. We have homemade meatballs. Everybody. We have homemade meatballs. Ball meat. Meatballs. Oh, no cap, I need to redo everything though. Like the whole kit, like it needs a facelift severely. It's bad in there. Faced with a restaurant that hasn't been touched since 1960. Okay, here they come. Yeah, here we go. This is a focal point of the, the, the episode right now. He got them jewels, he got them shoes on, you see? Three. Chef Ramsay and his team work overnight. Yeah, yeah, to got it. This restaurant, got it. one of the biggest makeovers in Kitchen yeah, Nightmares you history. You needed it. Right, good morning. Good morning. good morning. You are in for a big shock. Are you ready to see the new Capri? Yes. yes. Good. On the count of three. One. Two. No peak. Three. Just have a look. We have brought the Capri from 1963, fast forward it, transformed it to 2011. It's beautiful. A look at it. Oh, cool hip. Man. This place is going to be hopping. This is nice. Oh, wow. Gone is the carpet that was stuck together with tape. You have the most amazing reclaimed wood lining the walls. Look at Yeah, that's right. We had to put it on the wall as well. Colleen, oh, what do you think? Wow. Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. We got rid of those hideous green booths. You have the most amazing tailor-made cut pews as benches from your local church. Oh, oh wow. wow. Sit down in the pew. You're happy. 
Yeah. Like a piggy. Yeah. Woohoo! It's great. Colleen, yes, come forward, darling, and bring those menus from the pocket there. Oh, I love my it. Goodness. Gone Thank are the dirty God. plastic menus. Look at it. Design and what your kitchen. Interior designer Gordon. Is capable of producing. So now it's time to stop ignoring the business and run the business. Okay. Yeah? I get nervous when you don't talk. Oh, she's crying. He's, huh? he's totally stunned. Come on. Just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> really is. I've never heard you this quiet. Ah, I don't have anything What's the matter? Just amazing. I'm in shock. I never thought I could look so different. This is... Jim is really theatrical, boy. He's, he does a lot. Beyond what I could ever think could happen. It's amazing. Wow. We're moving up. And it's exciting. It's a second chance on life. This is going to be the coolest place in Eagle Rock now. Exactly that. Oh, they got a new sign, too. Nice. Right, come through, please. Look at this. Oh, my uh, God. Let's start off with meatballs or forno, yes? What are they? Homemade, Homemade meatballs. meatballs. Homemade meatballs. OK, salads to the table. Welcome. An Italian chopped salad. Yay! For me, the hallmark, the pizza. The margarita, classic. Eggplant, palm pie, delicious, and just gives a completely different twist. Now, entrees. Good thing they got that other chef guy in there, that one that helped for lunch. I feel like he can cook. Baked meat lasagna, one of my favorites, yeah? Mm. Baked herb chicken with fingerling potatoes and a white wine sauce. Jim? I like it. That's Jeff. A lot. It's cool. I'm Jeff. That's Jim. Yeah. <laughs> right, little taste? Yes. Jump yes. in. All right. I didn't think I heard of the All the broccoli is so good. The food looks unbelievable and it even tastes better. It's excellent. The eggplant is amazing. I'm starting to get full already, and I haven't tasted half the stuff. Excuse me. Welcome. Put you right over here, please. Word of Capri's relaunch has spread through Eagle Rock. We have a new menu. We have great salads and appetizers to start with. And the dining room fills up quickly, with customers eager to try the new menu. You want to do the mac and cheese? The bowl is chicken wings. I'll go grab that and come back to you. To try the new menu. You want to do the mac and cheese? The boneless chicken Boneless chicken wings. Girl, get a grip on life. You know what I'm saying? Put some work in for your, for your chicken wings. Like, it... The bone is where the flavor is. I'll go grab that and come back to you. All right, let's go. There you go, Jim. Medium margarita pizza and a baked chicken. Okay. And I, and I want you to call it out like a chef. Okay. Owner. I got two. What is that? Hot potato skins, two wings. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Jim? I'm nervous, but I have to believe that I am in charge and I know what I'm doing. Own it, own it, own it, own it, yeah? Come yeah. On. Got a leaf on the top, buddy. In spite of Jim's nerves. Table five is ready. Pick it up, please. Food is quickly making its way out to I the... I that chicken done. Diners. The high knife. Perhaps a little too quickly. Me. Listen, guys, guys, the chicken's not hot enough, especially inside there. Get in the oven, get the pan hot first. Jim, I think he's starting to really get a little panicky. Jim. Give me time with the chicken, please. I I, I got the, the chicken in in the what's in the pan and stuff. It's it, it's heating up. Jim, bounce back. Yeah. Yep. It's not a race. Yep. Customers will wait for good food. Hot food out in the window. I'm dragging the meatballs. Here's spaghetti meatball. Yeah. Is that how I showed you to plate a spaghetti meatball? No. It looks like someone on my plate. Yeah, but Jim, it's like, come on. It's so easy. Just on. And you're more capable of doing that, I'm telling you. It's not rocket science. You can't even great cheese. No, no, no. Stop panicking and yeah. focus. I'm panicking right now because we want to get food out. Oh, Jim. Jim, you need to take a back seat, buddy, to the other guy. Quick. But it's like. It's not about quick, it's about quality. Hey, don't screw this up. It's an hour into service. And Jim is struggling to keep up with the orders. Jim, how much longer on my table four? It's coming up right now. Unfortunately, a relaunch that had such promise. They ordered appetizer meatballs. Unfortunately, a relaunch that had such promise. 
Thomas. The appetizer meatballs. Did you really? I did not see that. Looks like it's slipping away. Your chicken's coming also. Jim, look at me. What table number is that for? 16 is there. You cutting it right now? I had a mushroom and a meat lover. Cut it right up. This is going to 16. They haven't even got their appetizers. Oh, sake. God darn it. Oh, come on. Come in, you. Come in, both of you. I need you for 30 seconds out of all this. Oh, oh, man, we're doing this again. I thought we got through this. They need to be on the floor, both of them. We need to hire somebody to be another chef. And, they, and, they, and uh, they're actually not doing bad about calling the orders, the, the other guy, the other time, but, like, he, the dude should not be in the kitchen. I have absolutely no faith. Please don't let this be the end. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> It's relaunch night at Capri, and with the kitchen backed up. Jim, give me time with the chicken, please. The chicken in the, in the what's in the pan and stuff. It's it's heating up. And diners waiting over an hour for food. Come in, both of you. Chef Ramsay has seen enough. Look at me, look at me. Right now, you're making yourselves look stupid. Right. It's a big night tonight. Yes. And you're pissing it up. Yes. So please listen to me. You have to command your kitchen. Yes. You have to work together. But yes. it's not a race. Right. Customers are going to wait for good food. Stop panicking and yes. focus. Okay? Yes. Come on. Chef Ramsay was like, reassurance, Gordon. What the f is this? How can you? And I go, Ugh. we slip back into our old ways of doing it. And it's like, you got to change. This is a new Capri. I need an order of garlic knots and pepperoni and cheese. Yes, sir. Ooh, garlic knots. That sounds delicious. Oh, help him. I'll take care of this. Got it. It's I ain't had no carbs in two weeks. It's, it's, it's getting peak, brother. Time that I grew up. It's time that I start working as a man and not as a butthead. Sausage and bean. Put some cheese uh, on this. I had to put these on this, right? Yeah. Put a little uh, oregano. Oregano. Okay, Jim. Good. Now we're getting a system. Convict it, yes? Yep. What's next? On uh, 16. Good. I got hot food up here. Please serve it. Once we started hitting our rhythm, it was great because things were going out. Excuse me. We settled down and we got it zooming along. How are we doing? So good. The meatballs are our favorite thing okay. to eat. This is really good. It's delicious. This is made from scratch. You can tell. This is so amazing. It's been one hell of a roller coaster ride, but we've learned a lot from Chef Ramsay, and he's left us with a lot of inspiration and hope. I can see that we will make it if we keep doing what we're doing. But did they? Jim, Jeff, you've come a long way. It's been a tough journey. Yes. And in order for this place to continue functioning, you both must work at it. Yes. Don't clutter. Yes. Show up early. Yes. Lazy is a four-letter word. Yes. Good. <laughs> God bless you both. <laughs> Thank you, sir. OK? Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good luck. We have went through a lot to get, uh, you know, to get the nightmare into a, a, a dream. It's yeah. still a learning process, but the future looks really good. The Capri is going to work. Good luck. <laughs> God, honestly, I'm never going to forget the twins in Eagle Rock. Let me tell you that. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much. Jeez. Yes. <sighs> wow, that was hard. I mean, really hard. But I now really believe that both Jim and Jeff and their little restaurant. It's like 5 in the morning when he do this scene. Ain't nobody around. Can become a huge tourist attraction here in Eagle Rock. And come on, <laughs> who doesn't love a pizza? <laughs> And a show. <laughs> oh, that was hard. Man. Just one month after Chef Ramsay's departure. Can I take a picture of you two with, with Jen? You oh, sure, sure can. The twins kept their promise and opened for lunch. It's excellent. It's really good. The new food and decor have made Capri a hot spot in Eagle Rock. Come back again. We're going to keep this going now. This has been a life-changing experience. Thank you very much, Chef Ramsay, for what you did for us. Jim cried through the end, didn't he? <laughs> I think it's going to work. It's going to work. By the way, we have homemade meatballs. Yeah. Only reason I know is Jim is because he cried. That's tough, man. Tell Lily, like, comment, subscribe. I'm done.